Tower of Terror. By the end of this video, you're gonna see the sketchiest part of this whole thing, and it's gonna blow your mind. Personally, I don't think this is gonna work at all. Today, we're gonna test the limits of Shunk's Vero S Quick Change Palette System. So here at Titans of CNC, we've built up a reputation for a few things. We don't only teach the entire industry free of charge, but we take some monster cuts. We push tools to their limits to open your minds. We put giant pieces of material into our machines, and we make giant blue chips of greatness. And when it comes to these two, we also make glitter. But today, we're gonna focus on one of our other strengths, which is doing sketchy things. So without further ado, let's get started on maybe the sketchiest project I've ever done. Let's do it! I am pretty sure it's not gonna work, and there are several reasons why. Number one, this piece of material is too long for the swing of my pallet changer. Number two, I'm gonna be setting it on some pretty narrow little V blocks. When I change those pallets, that's gonna put a lot of centrifugal force on my clamping method, which is also super sketchy. And then, by the end of this video, you're gonna see the sketchiest part of this whole thing, and it's gonna blow your mind. Went pretty good. I didn't put a hole in any sheet metal yet. Your plan is to put straps around this, pull the straps down, and kind of rely on the weight of this thing to not move when you try to machine it. Yeah, I'll have this going across here. I'll bolt that in there. Do the same thing over here. And all I have to do here is take like 50 thou off of that face. So that, and I'm taking like 20 thou dynamic passes. Then I got to put the four pull stud holes in and thread them. So I'm babying the drill. Yeah. That is sketchy. Yes, it is sketchy. Yes! All right, so we just got our beast mode piece of material loaded on our V-blocks. Now it's time for us to strap this thing down. So I'm gonna use one chain to give us a pretty rigid grip on it, and then I'm gonna use a bunch of ratchet straps. So again, super sketchy. And then I have to change pallets, but I'm gonna do that manually because this is so much weight sitting up about six inches off our table, and I don't want this sucker rolling off and destroying all of my sheet metal and weight covers. It's not moving. Yeah, I did full send, full rapid, full speed pallet thing, change everything. I mean, it's something. We'll find out. Does it get a thumbs up from quality control? I mean, it gets a, we'll see, we'll see what happens. <laughs> it's pretty sketchy. Yes! So, when you actually looked at, when you looked at the measurement coming out, does it, does it surpass this? Is it out here? Like, so you have the whole kind of radius well, thing? Or? The problem is in the center we are because we have a circular yeah, swing. So the edges are sticking out an inch past. So the edges are? Yeah. So we're gonna take it real slow on the way in and make sure and we don't. you're able to just jog it like super slow. And what if you have a problem, are you able to bring it back? Yep. All right, man. let's do it. All right. All right, brother. Let's make it happen. Oh, man. If something goes wrong, you'll hear it. Get rid of that footage. All right, time to manually change this pallet as slow as we can. Wish me luck. Good luck. is clearance. Probably like one inch, right? One inch? <laughs> That's why his parts are always out of tolerance. <laughs> Got he! <laughs>
So take a look at this super sketchy setup we have here. How doers get more done. Now I'm not saying anybody on the planet should ever fix your apart like this. But our only options were going to be to either make some saddle clamps which would have been super time consuming. Or we could have gotten in some chains that had ratchets on them. But we had to get this done in a hurry and all we had to do was some super lightweight operations. Now between this chain and these two ratchet straps we also had 2200 pounds of material pushing straight down onto our table. So on this side of the part we put our four pull stud holes in and on this side of the part we just put two eye bolt holes. Because we were only drilling a couple small holes in thread milling we knew that this would work. Now part of what compounded this issue was that all of our bolt holes are covered up by this giant piece of material. So there was no way I could just bolt straight down and put some kind of easy clamp on it like we did it with big material in the past. Anyway, if you think that this is sketchy, yes, just wait until you see what we're about to do. It is going to blow your mind. So I figured since we have this thing facing us now, we might as well put our pull studs in while we still have this thing in a rigid setup. We're about to get sketchier. Yes! The Tower of Terror. Let's insert. So do you think other machine shops should do this, Barry? So look, personally, I don't think this is going to work at all. But Shunk assures me that their Vero S system is so rigid that it can take this. This thing's standing up three foot tall and it's 16 inch diameter. I don't think it's going to work. So if you're a machinist or a programmer, you might understand the feeling that I have right now. You get into your software, you draw up something that you think is a really smart idea, but then when you see it in real life, you realize it was very stupid. So I have all these bolts that are just halfway into my fixture right now. I machine little half moons in there and the bolts fit in real nice, but I don't feel like it's a very stable way of fastening this giant piece of material to my machine. So we got a hold of Shunk and they sent us eight of these nifty little clamps here. Now these clamps have a little raised section on the bottom, so it kind of functions like a toe clamp, and it's gonna give us a much more stable connection between our pallet and our table. So without further ado, let's get all of this back out and drill some holes in our table.
All right, this is loading material, take two. to murder. So check out how sketchy this is. Now I don't think this is going to work out too well. I've never attempted anything like this. So stay tuned for our next video because we're going to start taking some monster cuts. Hopefully I don't break anything. But we're going to see just how strong these Vero S modules actually are. Stay tuned. Okay. <laughs> yes, we are all strapped up and ready to rumble. They see me rolling, I'm sketchy. I'm hoping that I don't go wreck all my way covers. See you in the comment section, see you in the comment section. But you know I'm milling sketchy.